Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Let's see what does the collective need to be aware of when it comes to the karmics. Y'all already know we start off with the tea on Sunday. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to be aware of? We have unsuccessful at the bottom. <laughs> they were targeting you. <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra. <clears throat> targeting you for speaking the truth. This is uh, the energy of you being a truth speaker. Someone who doesn't hold back. Someone who, you know, you are the generational curse breaker in your family. So you could be speaking the truth. In your home you could be speaking the truth about your family uh you could be speaking the truth about someone in the family uh it could be at work you know whatever it is so you could be on a platform like me uh and you could be picking up on this energy a lot of the, the readers right now that's all we're picking up on because we're, we're guiding each other through this process so you are speaking the truth and they was targeting you the spirit is saying here that it's always going to be unsuccessful because you are part of the chosen ones, all right? The chosen ones, 144,000 of us, okay? And you have a mission. You have a higher calling. And part of your higher calling, part of your mission, part of your purpose is to speak the truth, okay? To expose the wickedness, okay? We have here only loyal to themselves and non-committal. You expose somebody who was on a, a hoe, basically, all right? Male or female, and they was mad, <laughs> Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There's a lot of cards. All right. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yo, you cannot make this up. Wow. Look at this. Only loyal to themselves. And we have this loyalty. This is somebody who's for the streets. You could have exposed this to somebody. Maybe... You know, I'm just going to tell you my situation and you apply how it fits for you. You know, like I, I do readings and, you know, I'll be exposing these karmics all the time. Uh, I do personal readings where I expose them. It's because what is whatever comes out in, in the reading. If somebody's coming to me asking me, you know, is my person cheating on me or what's going on? And that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. You know, I'm I'm not a sugar coating type of reader. I'm going to tell you straight up what I'm getting because that's what you're here for. The truth. All right. Yeah, if somebody's in a mentally, physically, a spiritually abusive relationship, I'm going to tell you, all right? So apparently you told somebody the truth and the, the person who was being exposed started to attack you and is unsuccessful. Yeah, look, new moon plotting. You cannot make this up. So we have a new moon on Monday. They're going to try it again and, and it's, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to be, be nice for them. Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> listen they're sending death spells they want you to die or they want things to end if you want a platform they want your platform to, to end because they don't want you to continue to expose them see how my throat chakra keeps acting up when i'm talking let me have some water real quick so basically that's what's going on <clears throat> you are exposing someone that's what god wants you to do all right this karmic the reason that they was attached to this person to begin with is because there was something about money they was pocket watching this person they wanted to to attach themselves to somebody who has some type of stability and with ego they can't let it go this karmic cannot believe <laughs> they cannot believe they how dare you expose me not understanding that it's god that they need to take take it up with you know not not us we just the messengers okay but you know it is what it is and look what we have here. Car accident. Voodoo return, bitch. Keep fucking playing with it. Keep playing with it. I've been picking up on this <laughs> for the longest. Okay? I've been showing y'all too. that It just keeps coming out. So we got death magic boomerang. They wanted you to get into a car accident. They wanted you to die. This is the type of time that these weird ass bitches be on. I just want y'all to really like understand what's going on here. For those that don't understand. These people are really trying hard or this person is really trying hard to keep somebody in a relationship with them against their free will you know like this is the type of shit that i'll be thinking about like to myself i just be like yo like these bitches are weird <laughs> they do all this voodoo they do the blood magic they do sacrifices they kill chickens and roosters and and all this other weird shit uh they put stuff in jars they put their period blood their urine their 
uh, whatever, their eyelashes, their hair. Like, they do mad weird shit. They do spells on people to keep them stuck to them. Like, this is what this person is trying to do here. That's why I said spiritually abusive. On top of mentally and physically abusive, I'm sure, as well. But it's definitely spiritually abusive. That's disgusting and disturbing the lengths that these people go to keep somebody. All right? It's really weird. Like, this is somebody that needs to go to some type of mental hospital and get some type of help because you're doing all of this to make somebody be with you who doesn't want to be with you okay so then this person gets guided by god to the reader or to you you're just somebody who speaks the truth you you knew some type of truth or whatever and the, the person was guided to you for a reason you told him what's up and now this person is look what they're doing now they're trying to attack you because you spoke the truth about them bitch bye <laughs> keep on attacking me because you're just attacking yourself ho keep on keep on so that's what's going on here this person was a cheater. They only loyal to themselves, you know, and they was doing voodoo on somebody. It's like you want to keep somebody there like a zombie while you cheating on them and doing the absolute most and using them. What kind of selfish, weird ass shit is that, bro? That's a human being. And then some of them have ch children involved too, which is even worse. Yeah, this is exactly who this karmic is. A fallen angel. All right, this has coming out um, in the confirmations that I posted. I think it was yesterday that there is going to be a fallen angel who um is going to get into some bullshit here because this girl, all right, or this guy, they had some type of, maybe they had a chance, you know, to be like us, to be divine. And they, they just, you know, again, fallen, you know, they made too many, too many bad decisions. All right. This, this person is bound to this realm. Okay. Okay. We have here red flags and embarrassed. Somebody could be embarrassed, you know, this person that was connected to them. Maybe they're embarrassed that they didn't see the red flags. But if it's you who I'm talking to, or if it's, you know, your person, I feel like there was a lot of voodoo, you know, there was a lot of manipulation going on so that this person doesn't see the red flags, uh, the glamour spells and shit like that. So, you know, forgive yourself. Don't be embarrassed. All right. Forgive yourself because again, it was spiritually abusive, meaning that this karmic was doing voodoo. All right. They was doing voodoo, trying to keep you trapped in a, in a fantasy world. You know, trying to kill off everybody that that was trying to connect with you, like doing death spells on them. Like it's just a lot of weird things. Like it's just really crazy. And I'm I'm actually glad that uh, I'm able to see these things now because in the past I, I didn't know that bitches be doing this type of weird shit like this. Um, because you know it's part of what I'm here to do. I'm here to teach. I'm here to guide. So I'll be able to now help people with this type of shit because this is some deep shit. Yeah, look, Carmisha, I'm telling you, she's on some shit. All right, this person that she's trying to connect to uh, by any means necessary could be a self-made hustler. You know, somebody who is a divine masculine that maybe at the time he wasn't divine yet, but he's always divine. Again, a fallen angel like she was. She probably had the potential to be something more, but she didn't pass the test. She kept on with the bullshit, you know. Um, so this person... They would they could have been a hustler, they could have had money, but something about them is self-made. Whatever they, they do, it turns to gold. They have a lot of good creative ideas, they have uh, you know, a lot of good luck energy, you know, they're able to manifest easily. So this person they know this. All right, this karmic, she could be even someone who's from a cursed bloodline, you know, like it, it goes deep. You know, they target these people, they do readings on them and they target them. Okay. Yeah, look, spiritual thief at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. They tar they target them and they be like, okay, I'm going to attach myself to this person. All right, we have the neighbors is watching. Somebody's neighbors is watching. Lessons. Yeah, so Spirit is saying, don't be embarrassed, okay, that they that this person is from is for the streets, <laughs> okay? Uh, it was a lesson. You needed to learn this, okay? Uh, we have here, and look at that. For some of y'all, this karmic, they poked holes in the condoms, all right? So don't be embarrassed because you this this karmic, targeted you and trapped you <laughs> it's crazy all right look at that for the, for some of y'all is, is a stripper or a dancer okay <laughs> and we have here a boss all right you again you could be this boss this self-made boss all right you could have uh businesses or this person has businesses and uh, we have unemployed or fired so you see the dynamics here a stripper that was probably unemployed and she saw this boss who was self-made and she decided to attach. A spiritual thief. She was never non-committal. She was only loyal to herself. Switch the roles however you need to, all right? The group reading. But that's what happened here. All right? This karmic is mad. 
Okay. They got exposed. Let's see what else. All right, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to know? So the neighbors could be watching. Uh, maybe they're seeing that this karmic is, uh, you know, for the streets or something. Something that they're watching. They're seeing, they're seeing her do something or him. We have a female friend. Okay, so somebody's female friend is involved. Maybe they're seeing her. I don't know. But let's keep going. Or switch the roles. It could be a male friend. If it's a, a female karmic, maybe, you know, something like that. All right, this fake good person. Somebody's female friend who acts like a, a good person. Hmm. Let's see what else. Yeah, somebody who, like, they act very kind and shit like that. Look at that. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> so a neighbor... Maybe a, a neighbor knows that somebody's selling poom poom or something on the side. A fake good person, huh? Her female friend selling poom poom out the crib or something. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's going on here? All right, this could be this could be connected to the neighbor, or this could be just the karmics. All right, just another another energy we're picking up on. All right, they was being sneaky and they got rejected. Whatever they was doing. Okay, so if they was doing voodoo, it got rejected. Again, nothing is working. The, the, the magic that they're trying to do, yeah, to gain a lot of money is not working. <clears throat> okay, 11 could be significant. Tell me more. We have here the letter V. That could be in the first name, middle name, last name. It says here, a fatal event is taking place, all right? So this could be another situation. A, a female friend of yours who was fake, all right, a karmic, she could have been, I don't know, maybe caught up with tax evasion or something like that. But this person, their name could have a V somewhere. They're going to have some type of fatal event taking place, okay? Because uh, they was being sneaky. They was doing something here. Paying for sex could be, you know, something side on the side, right? But I just feel like there was something here that they did for a lot of money. Maybe a sex ritual, some weird shit, and they got rejected. So they could have been trying to do that to your money, trying to steal from your money. Let me see. Okay, Holy Spirit, why is this fatal event taking place? They, they were trying to attack you. They were trying to attack you. Okay? They were somehow connected. Yeah, loss of individuality. There's somebody who probably was trying to, who was, was, was trying to attack you because they was connected to uh, to this karmic, okay? Somebody's female friend. Oh, yeah. You see this, y'all? They were trying to attack you to get your money with a hermit. So, a Virgo could be involved. A practitioner that they went to. They were trying to throw you off balance. Oh my goodness. Now they're going to pay for this. Oh my God. Listen, try to throw you off balance. My bad for the lighting. I don't know. I'm right in front of the window, but for some reason it's just like, but, um, they try to throw you off balance so that they could steal your, your investments, your, uh, abundance. Okay. Your inheritance. Okay. Right there. Inheritance. They, they tried it. Wow. So now they're going to pay for it. And one of them is going to go because of this. All right. Uh, I've been I've been seeing a lot of confirmation. I already told y'all of car accidents. All right, fatal e events taking place. All right, because they tried to fuck with you, and they couldn't. All right, somebody could be an Aries. Okay, with the Emperor, this person could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be a woman or a man. It don't matter. I mean, it don't matter if it's a woman or a man because the Emperor, an Aries, 
is the sign that is assigned to this card. So this Aries, this Aries, they wanted to get involved in attacking your, being sneaky, right? Being fake nice, you know? Acting like they don't do this type of shit with that fake nice card. Um, and this person, they could even be getting unemployed for some of y'all. Some of, some of y'all are going to get fired. Some of them are going to get fired. Okay. So let's see what else. But I'm just seeing a lot of rejection, a lot of backfire. See, we have backfire here again. Rejection, unsuccessful, death magic return. Everything that they have been doing is going back now. Um, and whatever they're going to do on this new moon, which is uh, tomorrow, actually, is going to go right back. It's going to go right back. And they're already starting, you know, this shit. Because they are... Uh, they like to, to do it, you know, right before, like three days before the new moon and all that shit. So let's see what else. I only spirit. <laughs> I feel like we're going on a tour, on a karma tour. Okay, like this group is going to get it. This friend over here is going to get it. Karmisha is going to get it. <laughs> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. False claims, bitter and vengeful. Somebody could have been making false claims. Uh, could be connected to court. Or it could be that this karmic was just lying about you, you know, uh, because they was bitter, they was vengeful. They wanted to get people uh, against you. Tell me more. Look at that. They could have told a gang member something, try to get you caught up in some bullshit. <laughs> or this could be a gang member for some of y'all. Tell me more. A male family member who's in a gang. She could have tried to get somebody who's in a gang for some reason to like do something to you. All right. Or set you up or some shit. Or maybe she tried to hire somebody to do something to you. We got somebody who is slim. This could be this karmic or you, whatever. Okay. We got a boss that keeps coming out here. Okay. Somebody drives a Mazda or something with a vehicle. Again, car accident. They could have been giving people your address, trying to get you caught up in some bullshit. All right, we have tall. We have slim. We have black, black hair, black car, dark skin. We got a male co-worker, okay, a male family member. We have here um, trying to do a destiny swap to inherit your success, your blessings, and your future, and leave you with their bad karma. That's exactly what I said. They was all trying to take your inheritance right here your destiny you are meant to have a family a home um happiness achievements a property uh you know a traditional family life is what's on the horizon for you and they wanted to take that they wanted to take your marriage your blessings everything they wanted to take all of that shit okay this is what th these people do all right people do this more than you think all right they see that you again they, they do readings they see that you have an abundant energy they ha they see the the contract that you have the spiritual contract and they want to steal it and they do the absolute most to steal it so these people try to do that and uh they try to do it for money so somebody's gonna get fired somebody's going to get into a car accident or some type of fatal event okay because again look <laughs> somebody gonna have to be on food stamps nothing wrong with that all right but um, it's just giving me the energy of somebody who's going to have to really like humble down, you know, they could have been living, uh, an extravagant lifestyle or just comfortable where they didn't need that. And, uh, now they're going to have to be relying on food stamps and other types of government, uh, assistance. All right. They're going to be having car issues or again, something with a car accident and attacking your teeth. I posted this the other day too about the teeth falling out. I just keep seeing a lot of confirmation about teeth because they've been attacking our teeth, our hair, our legs. Like it's weird, you know, but I feel like the overall message with that is that they're trying to attack how we look or how we, you know, our everyday life. They want us to be, you know, uh, insecure, you know, whatever. We need our fucking teeth. We need our legs. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, we need our hair. Like, these, these, these people are just weird, bro. All right, we have the letter K. Somebody's gonna end up probably getting a restraining order on this karmic. K for karmic. K for karmisha. All right, let's see. Look, we got male co-worker and we got cheating with a co-worker. So this karmic could have been cheating with a co-worker of yours or somebody that you work with, you know? We got hustler here, so maybe somebody you was making money with, you know what I'm saying? Okay. 
All right, so we have here uh, Psalms 109, uh, spiritual protection spell. All right, so you could play this in the background when you're driving. You could play while you're cleaning, play while you're just chilling in the background. You know, it's just more protection, another layer of protection around you. Uh, you could read it. You know, I always say play it because it's like, you know, nowadays it's just easier to just play it in the background, play before you go to sleep. All right, but read it, whatever you want to do, but this is, this is needed right now. Just another layer, okay? Because, again, there's a lot of, a lot of shit going on right now, all these spiritual attacks. We got here that uh, your ancestors ain't letting up. Absolutely. They're getting karma. All right. All you got to do is cleanse your energy and stay prayed up. That's it. While they go through all this shit that's going to happen to them. All right. We have the real baby daddy is in prison. So somebody's baby daddy is, is in prison. Uh, I did say that she's trying to trying to um trap somebody with a kid here. It, it's probably not even their kid. The real baby daddy is locked up. All right. We've been, we've been picking up on that story for a minute, too. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's pull some cards from here. Greedy, yeah karmic energy for sure tell me more holy spirit what does the collective need to be aware of this karmic could be on drugs they could be a pill popper all right they cannot make it stick the voodoo that they're trying to do <laughs> imagine there's a fucking crackhead doing voodoo bro completely out of balance <laughs> they're stealing your content or ideas or they're trying to steal from you somehow january or capricorn or uh a Capricorn or an Aquarius could be this who this karmic is that's on drugs, okay? And they cannot make the voodoo stick. It's not working, all right? We keep seeing that it's going back. Poisoning you, okay? They could be trying to put shit in your food and drinks. If you live with this karmic, you need to stop drinking and, and stop eating from them, all right? I did say that earlier, that they put in their period blood and all that other weird shit, all right? We have here the letter D. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. evidence there's gonna be some type of evidence it says audio recordings videos text maybe there's something going on with the law here all right spirit is saying you are protected from whatever's going on yo look at this condom broke and then we got we got poked holes in the condom so i don't know what happened with that somebody got caught up all right <laughs> somebody got caught up with this karmic i feel like it wasn't it wasn't intentional okay the condom broke because they poked holes in it okay We have here, and look, and now we got baby daddy drama, all right? <laughs> That's what's going on. If your baby daddy is telling you, I don't love her, you know, I, I didn't mean to, or whatever, or this person, you know, that's what it is. They was set up. They was, they was uh, trapped. Confession. Yeah, they're going to come to you with a confession, like, yo, I'm sorry. Look at this. I, I And they want to apologize. Somebody going to come to you telling you, I'm sorry. We ran a train on this hoe, and, you know, I'm the only one who got caught up. <laughs> oh my god i'm the one who she's blaming i don't know but something about the train public transportation so back to okay so the train and food stamps that's the type of life she's gonna be living now all right it is what it is back to the gutter you go ho back to the to the hood where you came from back to wherever the fuck you came from you out back back to the streets back all right because again they chose the streets here tell me more holy spirit all right, yeah, that's what I said from the beginning. They was doing an energy check. They was checking, you know, uh, your energy, trying to see, are you abundant? Is this person abundant? And they targeted you, all right, or your person, all right? This karmic, they want to fight because nothing is working. We have here, focus on yourself. They mad that you be focusing on yourself, that you're not stressing this, and they greedy. They, they cannot focus on themselves. They always pocket watching, focusing on other people. Yeah, to see how they could come up with this lucky number seven. All right. Seven could also be July or the, the, the date of seven. Uh, you're going to get karmic justice. All right. If you're taking this karmic to, to court. Okay. For some of y'all, you're going to get justice. You could be a musician or you could be somebody who's very creative. Uh, maybe you write lyrics. Okay. Uh, maybe you just connect with music very well. Uh, they're talking shit about your back. 
with their daughter, okay? So maybe the karmic is the daughter, her mom, her, her mom is talking shit about you behind your back, trying to set you up, trying to get you caught up. If you are the divine masculine, switch the roles how you need to, or something's going on with a daughter, okay? Let's see what else. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yep, naturally beautiful. They jealous that somebody's naturally beautiful. That's why they're trying to attack our teeth, our legs, our hair. <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right. Uh, financial and sexual connection. This is not an emotional situation. Exactly. This is all this is with this karmic. That's all they want. All right. Somebody has a beard. That's all this karmic wants. It's not a, a, a lo it's no love here, basically. It's only for money. All right. Somebody could be trying to break into your home. Somebody that works at a kid's school. Maybe they was, again, some somebody was trying to pay some a gang member or some shit. Maybe that's what they was trying to do. I said they was trying to get somebody your address. No, we got a security guard. All right. Infidelity. Yeah, cheating. Yeah, look, a visit. And somebody got a red car. So just stay woke. You know you protected. All right. Intervention. Divine intervention is real. Let them try to come to your house. You're going to see how quick they get into a car accident. How quick some type of freak accident pops off. How quick they get a heart attack right there behind the wheel. Like, I'm telling you, that shit is real. Grand Theft Auto. We got cars coming out. Doctor's office. And they're going to message you. Somebody's going to message you. Let's see. What is the uh, intention behind this message? Holy Spirit, clarify. They're going to message you so the collective could be aware. What's the intention? It says here, <clears throat> fake, somebody who's fake, jealous, and a community. Oh, boy. Tell me more. So this karmic is going to message you, and they're with the community. <laughs> All right? So there's uh, the karmics and, you know, these other hoes that they work with. All right. It says arguments and discord ahead. I don't know. It's, this karmic, I don't think it's a truce. I think it's arguments and discord. They're going to try to come with some bullshit. Yeah, look, they are very enthusiastic <laughs> to do this. Okay, let's see what else. Queen of Swords, though, you got your guard up. You're like, bitch, don't come here with that bullshit. I ain't playing with you. You are intelligent. You are very um, independent, all right? You are somebody that you could definitely... Uh, you know, come for a bitch real quick just by using your words. Tell me more. Mm. They are having problems. Yeah, cherry in the reverse. There's a lot of like blockages right now for these people. So they're going to try to message you for something to try to like argue or something. It's, and it's because they, they, they're taking losses. They're trying to like get out of this karma. I don't know how they think that's going to help them if they, if they reach out to you. Um, is it all right? So what's going to be the energy? They're going to try to argue or are they going to come with an apology? I, I feel like for some of y'all, they're going to try to come with some type of an apology. Tell me more Holy Spirit, because it's like, they think that that's going to work. That They think that that's going to help them with their karma oh my god yo i'm telling you that's what i'm getting an apology <laughs> oh my god for some of y'all this person is your karmic and they're gonna come to you with some type of an apology like a romantic message you know something sweet don't entertain this all right. Yeah, because they made a bad investment trying to fuck with you. And look, unemployed right there. I'm telling you, they taking losses. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they're going through a lot of obstacles. And it says here, unable to move on. Yep, they, they're unable to move on from these uh obstacles, from this karma. So for some of y'all, all right, because I don't know who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to the divine uh feminine divine masculine you know switch the roles however you need to but a karmic is gonna reach out to you and they're going to try to fix this karma that they're getting by reaching out to you and apologizing all right then with the other group it says arguments and discord ahead so there's gonna be a group of karmics that are going to be trying to like start some drama all right so however it goes down you are aware okay let's see what else we get 
however it goes down you are aware <laughs> all right holy spirit tell me more i'm telling you there's a lot of losses the people are going through mad shit right now oh my god i just saw the car accident card yep i'm telling you tell me more Yep, I just saw drunk. Somebody could maybe have uh, an accident because they're going to be drunk driving. Yep, I just saw receiving bad karma. It says here, friends interfere. So again, there's a friend that interfered, a fake friend that needed to mind her fucking business. And she's the one who's going to get caught up in some bullshit. Look at it right here, drunk. Because this is somebody who was cheating to get ahead. They was doing voodoo trying to steal your abundance with these people. They was getting caught up in this voodoo shit. With some, with the karmic and, and some group here, the community, and they all made a bad investment. I'm telling you, this, this, that, that's gonna happen to somebody. All right, this person could have box braids. All right, it says here, a black widow woman, a woman who kills her lovers. Okay, so she's a black widow, or she's just, a, you know, toxic, a toxic karmic. She's gonna be the one that's gonna experience this uh, fatal event, unfortunately for her. Okay, uh, yeah, exactly, because she interfered and she should have mind her business. See what I'm saying? People are going to be going through some type of mental breakdown when they hear this news. I'm telling you, people, people need to mind their business. All right? We got a J here. Okay. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, y'all, Karmika, another karmic, another karmic hoe. Exactly. Another karmic hoe that should have mind her business instead of interfering. She, she, she was in with this coven, this group of people that was doing this voodoo on you to try to steal from you spiritually, trying to steal your abundance, your money, your blessings, everything that we saw. And she's going to be the first one that's going to go down. She's going to be the one that's going to be showing everybody that they, sh they shouldn't have a fuck with you. That's crazy. Let's see what else. Yeah, teacher. Teacher. Somebody could be a teacher or, again, they work out of school. But this is also telling me that this is going to teach them a lesson. She's going to be the one who's going to show the example. The first one. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, look. And then people are going to start taking even more losses, getting sick. And that's how it's going to go, one by one, limb by limb, <laughs> limb by limb. All right, somebody was stealing from work, and they're going to get exposed. Yeah, they're going to get caught off guard. Like, yo, you got to go. Tell me more. Wow, I'm telling you, somebody going to pass away. Because, look, they steal, you know, not only in the physical you know, scamming and doing weird shit, but also in the spiritual, which is, this is why all this karma is happening, because a lot of these people doing voodoo. This is how they steal. They steal people's energy, try to steal people's blessings. We saw that in the beginning of the reading right here, a spiritual thief. This is like the worst type of thief. Like they trying to, you know, play God in people's lives. Yeah, on the down low. Exactly. They do this shit on the down low. All right. They do this to get ahead. And this is what people need to understand that this is this world is much more spiritual than it is physical. And people do this type of shit all the time. I didn't know about this when I was asleep, you know, when I wasn't uh awakened. You know what I'm saying? Like when I wasn't enlightened to these things, I didn't know. But now that I know, I'm protecting myself and, and I'm helping the collective. We all helping each other because we all going through this shit. You know, we don't know who we doing this type of shit. It says the karmic is trying to get you locked up. She knows that you want to break up. Look at that. So we got Karmisha again on a mission over here. Trying to get somebody locked up because they know that you want to walk away. Yeah, you cannot make this up. Thinking of walking away. Absolutely. Let's see what else. We have here, put your shit in storage. Uh, and we have new perspective. All right. So now that you're seeing things clearly, if you're the divine masculine, the divine feminine, you know, you're seeing things clearly about this karmic. Spirit is saying, start putting your stuff in storage. Get the fuck up out of there. This is for the ones that live with this karmic. I already said earlier, too, that they're trying to put food stuff in your food and in your drinks, right? So whoever lives with this karmic, uh, Spirit is saying, start putting your stuff in storage or, you know, stuff in your mom's house, your dad's house, whatever, in your family's house. Like, just get up out of there, all right? Because this karmic is mad. They know that you want to walk away because they're getting readings done on you. So they're very much aware of everything that you think that they, 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 you think that they don't know, they know. Look, you see, masculine sees the truth now. You're seeing the truth now. You're seeing what a new perspective. You're seeing clearly what's going on. All right. And this karmic, they know what's going on and they're trying to hold you back. And look, car crash, shooting. Oh, I said shooting yesterday. No, on uh, two days ago, it came out. Something about uh, gun violence, a fight. 
And look, we have an illness. However they go, they going to go. It's a death spell reverse to sender. It's activating. So somebody going to pass away or all of them is going to take some type of losses here in different forms because they was all connected doing this shit. So this person now, back to this, he's seeing clearly. He don't want to deal with this karmic. And Spirit is saying, get the fuck away from her. Because this karmic, she's about to start paying karma. Her, Karmika, Carmelo, all these people that's involved in this community, they're about to start paying karma. People start, is going to start passing away. They're about to start going through a lot of losses, car accidents and all that. And you don't want to be part of this. You need to distance yourself from this karmic. Simple as that. Like, that's it. If you already know that you want to walk away, it's time now to walk away because shit is about to hit the fan. And I'm telling you, it's the energy that's coming in with that, uh, that new moon eclipse tomorrow. You know, like it's bringing in a lot of changes. All right. We have light skin. Somebody's light skinned. Okay. You or them, whatever. All right. So I'm going to end it here. I hope I was able to bring clarity and confirmation. Stay woke. I will link back up tomorrow. Peace.